Are you a course creator who is dedicated to helping your students achieve real sustained results? If so, you need more than just course materials and your expert tuition. You need a way for you and your students to assess performance and recognize the immense knowledge that they're gaining from your course. Ultimately, you need assessments. You see, good assessments don't just improve outcomes. They help you identify new ways to help your students. They help you identify gaps in content. And ultimately, they will allow you to identify individual students' strengths and weaknesses. However, even more importantly, assessments help you add value to your courses. They reinforce the knowledge you're sharing and clearly show students how they're benefiting from your teaching. This keeps students engaged with your courses for longer. It makes them more likely to enroll in your other course offerings and helps bring in more customer testimonials. But how can you create a seamless assessment experience for your online students without breaking the bank with crazy expensive software? Well, stick with me and I'll show you how you can add a powerful assessment experience to your WordPress courses using Thrive Apprentice. First things first, in order to follow along this video, it would be awesome if you've already grabbed a copy of Thrive Apprentice. You can do this by clicking the link down in the description box. This will take you to our website where you can purchase a license. Once you've signed up for Thrive Apprentice, you simply need to install the Thrive Themes product manager plugin that you will have downloaded from our website, upload it into your WordPress website and activate your copy of Thrive Apprentice. And you're now officially ready to start creating your online courses. Great, so there are four different types of assessments that we can create using Thrive Apprentice. We can ask users to take a Thrive Quiz Builder quiz. We can ask users to upload a PDF or a document. We can ask for a YouTube URL or even an external URL. Let's quickly run over some use cases for each of them. All right, so let's imagine for a second that we are a math tutor for middle school kids. We can have a quiz powered by Thrive Quiz Builder that calculates how many questions our students have answered correctly. And with assessments, we can automatically pass or fail students without having to manually review submissions ourselves, which is going to save us a lot of time. Let me just show you how to set this up. Great, so I have a new course created inside Thrive Apprentice. It's called Math 101. Inside it, we can find one module and two lessons. And we're trying to create a new type of assessment for module one. It's gonna be a test, a very simple test that prompts people to do some some addition and subtraction. I've already created the quiz inside Thrive Quiz Builder. It's made up of three different questions. What is one plus one? What is two plus two? And what is zero plus three? So that means that users can earn up to three different points, one point per question. So let's just jump into Thrive Apprentice and create a new type of assessment for module one. It's gonna be of type quiz. And let's just give this a name, module one test. It's gonna be of type quiz use quiz math 101 and here let's uh tell thrive apprentice hey i don't want to manually mark submissions i want you to automatic automatically calculate who gets to pass the quiz depending on how many points they've earned so let's do don't manually mark the assessment i want you to automatically grade the quizzes for me and the passing score is just going to be a uh, two that means that if there's three questions three different points that they can earn, as long as they get two out of three questions right, they're going to automatically pass the test and they will be allowed to proceed to the next module. It's that easy. Now let's talk about using the upload file type of assessment. This one is actually pretty straightforward. If you are say a poetry teacher, for example, you may ask your students to upload an essay analyzing a given poem, or you may ask them to write their own poem. Anyway, anyhow, let me just show you how to set this one up. Perfect, so I have a module here, it's called Poetry, and inside my Poetry module, I have a lesson about poetry. Let's just assume that we're going to create a new type of assessment for this module. It's gonna be of type Upload. That means that users are going to be able to upload, well, whatever we decide that, they, that we wanna let them upload. In this case, we can allow documents, we can allow images, we can allow maybe even video files if they wanna recite their poem out loud or something, that would be nice. Let's just um, assume for the sake of, of this uh, tutorial that we're only gonna up, let them upload one uh, file. Now, since we're allowing video files, let's just, you know, we could increase this to be, I don't know, maybe like uh, 100 megabytes big or something. That would be perfectly fine. And since we have connected our Thrive account 
to our Google Drive account. That means that all of the videos, all of the documents and images that people upload are going to automatically get sent to our Google Drive account. And we can do something as, uh, in this case, you know, as long as the uh, document, as long as they actually upload something, we can automatically pass users, which means that we don't want to manually mark this assessment, which means that assessments will be automatically set to pass once a student has submitted their assessment, which is what, we were go what we're going after. We wanna make sure that students, as long as they upload something into this assessment, they automatically pass and are allowed to proceed onto the next module. Pretty easy. We could actually do this, right? We could ask our students to record themselves reciting their poems out loud and upload them as hidden inside you know, their own personal YouTube channels, give us their links so that we could check out their, you know, their videos. We could definitely do this. Let's, let's actually do it. Create a new type of assessment. It's gonna be YouTube link, continue. Let's just call this recite your poem out loud. And uh, we want to manually mark this assessment. That means that you know, as students submit their videos, we're going to receive them inside the backend of Thrive Apprentice Assessments, which we'll get to a little bit later. And once they've done that, we simply get to watch the video and either pass or fail the assessment, depending on how good of a, of a job they've done. Okay, let's quickly run through the process of creating a course that uses all of these different types of assessments. Let's customize the look and feel of how our assessments are going to display on the front end of our website and take a look at some of the backend functionalities to manage and keep track of submissions. Great, so I have a course here called Copywriting Mastery and module one basically consists of my presentation as the course instructor. There's a lesson about me and some of my portfolio pieces that I want to showcase in front of my uh, students. Now, I want to create a new type of assessment where students are going to be uploading a video of themselves and introducing themselves to me because of course they're, you know, they all live in their respective countries. I don't actually know who they are. And it would be nice for me to just be able to watch a video of themselves talking to me, addressing me directly on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So let's do that. Let's create a new type of assessment. It's gonna be of type YouTube. And let's just call this introduce yourself. And we want to not manually mark this assessment. That means that instantly upon uploading, you know, or entering a YouTube link into the assessment, they're going to automatically pass and be allowed to proceed onto the next lesson. That, you know, for this type of thing where I'm essentially just asking for a welcome video, I don't really want to force people to, I don't want to stop people or prevent people from being able to move forward onto the next lesson just because I haven't actually seen their welcome video. It's not that important. So let's not manually review this assessment and allow Thrive Apprentice to automatically pass students upon them submitting their YouTube link. Great, for module two, I want to create a new type of assessment where students are going to have to complete a quiz. Not just that, but they're gonna to have to pass it. And if they don't pass the quiz, they're not going to be able to proceed onto the next module. How do we do this? Well, this is kind of like a two-step process. Step number one is to just create the assessment. So let's come here and let's do psychology behind copy test. And let's pick out our quiz, copywriting quiz. And the passing score is going to be, I can't remember how many questions there are. I think it was like five points. Yeah, as long as they get five points, they're going to pass. Let's not have to manually review these assessments. And as long as students get five points, in this quiz, they're going to automatically pass it and they're going to be allowed to proceed onto the next module. So this would be step number one. Okay, and step number two would be making sure that we tell Thrive Apprentice, hey, don't allow students to proceed onto module number three before passing the psychology behind copy test. And how do we do that? Well, we use drip settings. Perfect, let's create our drip campaign. So it's gonna be of type sequential unlock, which as you can see in the description, it forces users to unlock the content of their course in order. That's what we're going after, right? We want to make sure that people can't go uh, and complete module number three uh, until they haven't passed the assessment inside module number two. We want to make sure that they complete the course in order. Let's do that. And we want to make sure that we leave the custom unlock conditions because we're going to be telling Thrive Apprentice 
I want you to unlock module number three once they've completed an assessment, which is a custom unlock condition. Let's create our campaign. Perfect. So as you can see, lesson number one inside module number one is automatically unlocked, which makes sense, right? It's the first lesson in our course. That's the one that people are going to start in. And then lesson number two inside module one is locked. Module two is completely locked and module three is completely locked. As students complete lessons in order, they will be unlocking lessons that precede them. Now, what we want to do is we want to tell Thrive Apprentice, hey, for module number three, I want to add a new rule, which is that the assessment status for psychology behind copy test must be passed, right? We could do submitted or failed. In this case, we want to make sure that in order to unlock module number three, the assessment gets passed. The psychology behind copy test is passed. Let's add that and let's hit save. And automatically our lessons inside module number three are going to inherit this behavior. So it's that easy. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and customize the way our assessments display on the front end of our website. So we have to navigate and locate the templates for our school. Let's jump over into design, edit design, and let's jump inside the template editor. Here, we're going to find our default assessment template. Perfect. So inside our assessments template, we get to customize the look and feel of our assessments, each four of them, right from this template. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's edit the assessment design. And here we can see that we have different states. We have one for Thrive Quiz Builder. Now, quizzes are a little bit special because remember, the actual design and look of your quiz, you get to customize from within Thrive Quiz Builder, right? So if I were to preview my assessments page, I can see what my quiz looks like. So this is question one, and I get to proceed on with question two, and so forth and so on. But the actual design of your quiz comes well, you get to customize inside your Thrive Quiz Builder settings. Let's customize a different type of assessment. Let's jump into assignment upload, for example. And here we can do, 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 customize. I don't know. Let's change the color of this icon, for example. Let's make it blue. And let's do the same for this font color. Let's make it blue. Great. And Let's, for example, let's just grab this content box and let's give it a little bit of border, like 10 pixels of border, perfect. And we can do this for all of our different type of assignments. For example, this is the YouTube link one. So here people would just insert their YouTube URL and hit submit and that would be it. We can do the grading pending one, for example, Congratulations, you have successfully submitted your assignment. You can wait for your result or you can resubmit another version. Congratulations. Uh, let's just do all set. We're in the process of reviewing your assessment. Great. And people have the option of resubmitting the assignment if they so uh, want to. You can also eliminate that option or even view the submission history. Pretty cool. And then grading completed here would, uh, we would actually display the grade for our student and you can fully customize this with Thrive Architect. So this, you know, you can take this as far as you want. Now let's jump over into the back end of assessments because this is something that you're going to want to do every now and then. If we come into this new section here, assessments, here you can see that I have a list of all of the different types of assessments that I've been receiving from students. I can see the ones that have already passed, the ones that have failed, a list of pending assessments that are waiting for me to, to grade them. And let's just grade a few of these. For example, Bogdan here submitted a YouTube link. Let's just grade this assignment. Hey, Bogdan, this isn't a welcome video. I'm glad you like your bikes, but I wanted a welcome video from you. And let's just fail Bogdan here because he didn't actually complete the assignment properly. Let's hit save. And as you can see, that one went over into the failed section. Poor Bogdan didn't pass the, the first test. And there's one more thing that I wanna go over with you here. Inside settings, there's a new type of email template that you can actually customize. It's the assessment marked email template. And as you can see, this is an email that 
our students are going to automatically receive upon us creating one of their assessments. So you can see the subject line is your assessment has been marked. We could change this to graded, for example. And here we're doing hello first name, your assessment on our website, or you can just change this to your website name if you want it, has been marked and is now ready for review. To access your assessment, click the, click the link below to log in. Boom, assessment button, log into your account, assessment button, and you're pretty much good to go. You can customize this however you want, but it's pretty cool, pretty nifty, the fact that students can automatically get emails letting them know that we've already graded their, their assessments. Pretty cool stuff. We are absolutely thrilled with the response that we've been getting about assessments so far. We knew that this was something that many of you course creators were wanting, and I seriously can't wait to see what other cool use cases you find for them. Now, remember that Thrive Apprentice is much more than assessments though. You can use Thrive Apprentice to certify people and keep them coming back to renew their certifications. You can use it to build out membership sites that unlock specific areas and content of your site to subscribers and much more. I'm going to be down in the comment section below in case you have any questions and don't forget to sign up for Thrive Apprentice using the link down in the description box below if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you and your time and I will see you soon. Thank you, bye.